Hey guys, Pogosic29 here. Welcome to episode number 54 of Bucket Coding. Uh, in this episode, I am going to show you guys how to uh, customize the tab overlay on your server using a little uh, API called Tab API. Now, <clears throat> before we begin, the last video I posted was on the uh, custom text of the Wither Boss, and uh, I got a few comments that said, that someone had improved it in that same forum thread and they had posted a better version that uses an ender dragon or it sets the position to uh, somewhere where the player wouldn't be able to see it. So um, I'll just let you guys know that uh, you can check out that forum post. If it's not in the description of the old video, then I'll try to put it in there. And uh, just you can check out the uh, description, you can look at the thing, and you can find the better version and use that. But uh, it should work pretty much the same as the version that we use, so I don't really want to make another video that does the same thing but with slightly different uh, packet class, packet utils class. Alright, so in order to do this uh, plugin, we're going to need to uh, download two extra uh, things that we wouldn't normally use. The first one is Tab API. You can find it at de uh, Bucket Dev. Um, it's called Tab API. Um, for those of you that are interested, it was written by the uh, guy that uh, wrote Survival Games, the MCSG guy. Um, and so you can get that there. It'll be in the description. You just have to go ahead and download it right there and as you can see it also requires protocol lib um, and uh, you can get that right here they do have a version that supports 1.6.4 and there still isn't bucket for 1.7.2 so you can go ahead and download the latest version of protocol lib for those of you that don't have it already or don't know what it is it's basically a pretty awesome library for um, you know custom packets so if you guys are interested in protocol lib, I could probably do, I could probably figure out how it works and uh, do some videos on it because there are some, uh, there are some pretty cool things you can do with it as far as packets. So you're gonna have to go ahead and download these two, and you're gonna uh, put them in your plugins folder of your server. Then we're gonna head over to custom tab and our build path, add external jars. We're going to go to our testing server plugins folder and grab protocol lib and uh, tab API and put them both in. So you, they will be in your plugins folder, but we're, we're also going to add them as external jar files to custom tab. And inside of custom tab itself, we just have a player join event and a, um, a uh, register events. Now if we head back over to tab API and we go to developers right here, there's a little page that will actually show you how to use it. So... There are a few different methods. The main one that we're going to use is tabapi.setTabString, which, as you can imagine, will set the uh, string at that specific point. Um, then set priority, which we'll have to do. Disable tab for player and uh, update player. There are some other things. And so that's it. There's And then there's some sample code right here. All right, so... For our example, I'm thinking, let's just, we're going to make a very simple example that doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything uh, special, It ju we just want it to, um, you know, we just want it to say some information so we, so we can just demonstrate that it works. And this would be a cool thing to, you know, put in a plugin or, uh, you know, a mini game especially. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is... In our player join event, we're going to go ahead and do. So, first we can go ahead and I'm just going to paste that in there. And I'm also going to paste this in. Because when the player joins, and let's go ahead and import tab API. And that should. Alright. So, that should work. So, um, the first thing that we want to do is set the priority. So um, basically, what the documentation says is, uh, there if there are more than one plugin that use um, Tab API, you can set the priority. So like I think two is the highest priority, and negative two is the lowest priority here. It's right there. So we'll go ahead and say set priority. Uh, the plugin is this. The player is e.getPlayer. 
And we'll go ahead and set this to 2 because, you know, it's important. And this is what we want. So we can go ahead and say um, set tab string for this is the plugin. E dot get player is the player. And then you have your vertical location and your horizontal location. And remember, all indices in Java start at 0. Uh, all that means is your first, you know, at the very top left is 0, 0 and not 1, 1. So uh, at position 0, 0, uh, we're going to set the uh, string there, and hang on one second, I'm trying to, uh, it's strange, where do you put in the string, hang on one second, let me, let me take a look in here, clear tab, disable tab, get horizontal size, get vertical size, next null, reset tab, list set priority, set tab string, Oh, I see. So you do actually have to give it the string. Okay. Um, so tab API. Um, so the ping is basically... Um, so in the normal tab list, uh, you would see the list of players, and then it would have their ping, which is the little three bars on the side. So you can set the ping here. I think we'll just make it zero. Uh, that should be fine. And then finally, it'll take the actual message. And chat colors are supported here. So we'll go ahead and say check color dot green, and it'll say um, welcome to, and let's see what's wrong here. Player int int string. It looks like it wants another integer. Hmm, strange. No. Uh, that should do it. Um, so then we'll say welcome to, and then at, I think it's going to be one, uh, no, x is going to be zero, y is going to, I think that should work. Uh, and then it'll say welcome to my server. And then farther down, we'll go ahead and write youtube.com slash pogostick 29 dev And then finally, we need to go ahead and say tab API dot um, update player e dot get player, and basically whenever you change the um, whenever you change the tab, like whenever you change any of these strings to the player, you have to call update player, or else it's not going to work. Now you could put that inside of a runnable that will just uh, run every so often and, and update that for you, or you could do it manually, but uh, you don't want to do it too often or else it'll cause lag and it, it won't work right. Let's go ahead and give this a try, see if it works. So, custom tab. All right, and let's head on over to our YouTube, uh, where is it, bucket coding testing server. Uh, I updated Craft Bucket, still 1.6.4, but it's the newer version. And don't forget that you need protocol lib and tab API in your plugins folder. And let's go ahead and start it up. Alright, that's good. So let's go ahead and launch Minecraft. Oops. That was strange. Alright, well, we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and allow Minecraft to launch. Might take a second. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and get it all set up. So now we're in. And let's go ahead and connect to our local host. Ah, what's Minecraft doing now? All right. Well, let's try this again. So, hang on one second. I'll start it up. All right. Looks like it updated the launcher all right here we go bad login all right well i'm gonna go ahead and pause the video again 
So I logged out and logged back into the launcher, and now it allowed me to join. So here's the moment of truth. I'm going to hit the tab button, and all right, well, as you can see, it does say, welcome to my server. Now, it does not have the three rows, uh, even though I did specifically place something at 3-3. Three, three. I'm not completely sure why. So let's try uh, moving this around. And honestly, there isn't too much that I can do about this, because, um, like, uh, as I'm sure you know, I don't make this. Like, here, it looks like uh, we got... Uh, an error with tab API. So, yes, looks like a bunch of um, errors. So it could just simply be that um, tab API itself uh, doesn't completely work. I don't know if it was um, explicitly updated for 1.6.4 uh, or, of course, 1.7. So maybe it just doesn't really work correctly, but um, I, I haven't personally seen anything else out there. If you guys have, you can let me know, but um, I do know that this has worked in the past, or it, or it, it should work, so uh, let me guys know, let me, let me know uh, if this method works for you guys or not. If it doesn't, I can try to find another way to do it, and uh, you know, make another video or just tell all of you guys. So, that is all for this episode. We customized the tab bar with some cool text. So, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and I will see you guys soon, hopefully over, uh, still over this weekend with another video. And I really need uh, requests from you guys because my list is getting increasingly short and a lot of the stuff on it is um, old stuff that from like before Magic Battle that I'm not sure if you guys are still interested in. So I really, like I, I, I'm pretty much out of ideas. Um, so please give me uh, some requests for Bucket or just other stuff if you guys are interested in anything else because I really... I uh, need your request. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.